Thursday night football on Prime, San Francisco, Seattle, 815 Eastern. I'm going to give you a free play in this game with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down 49ers Seahawks, your Thursday night matchup here for week six NFL. And, you know, a few weeks ago, I decided I'm going to do a free play video for every Thursday night NFL game this season. And so far, perfect 3 0 sweep the last three Thursday nights. Let's make it 4 0 with another free play for you. I'm going to look at the over under in just a moment. Quick reminder, though, if you want my official best bets each and every day, please check out my page, Steve Merrill. WagerTalk.com, and you get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Right, San Francisco 49ers are supposed to be one of the best teams in the league this season. I still think they probably are, but they're off to a very mediocre start, to say the least. A disappointing start for their fans, and we'll see if they can bounce back on the short week after now starting 2-3 and three straight up, and also just 2-3 and three against the spread. Uh, that, of course, includes an outright 7-point favorite loss against the Cardinals last week. Loss to the Rams a couple weeks ago is nearly a touchdown favorite as well. Now they're laying points with the quick turnaround. Just three days of rest and travel to Seattle. A little bit of a short road trip, uh, but the Seahawks get to remain at home after a bad loss of their own as a seven-point favorite against the New York Giants. Uh, back-to-back losses now for Seattle after that 3-0 perfect start, and they've lost to the Lions and Giants the last two weeks. Uh, they've only covered one game out of five this season, and the Niners have covered just two. So both teams have been very poor against the point spread. So let's look at the total instead here for your free play, and we're going to look at the over. Uh, Seahawks 4-1 and one over in their five games this season. Niners have gone over in three of five, including two of their last three. And it's not a surprise. If you look at the defensive numbers, both teams are suspect on defense this season, and both teams are capable of moving the ball offensively. And with just three days turnaround and rest and preparation, I don't think too much will change, even though this is a divisional matchup. I know we sometimes see tighter defensive battles here, and the teams know each other well. But just on the surface, this San Francisco offense is still really good. They have had some turnover problems recently, and that's one of the reasons they've lost three out of five games. But they're still moving the ball fine. Almost 150 rushing yards a game, over 400 total offensive yards per game on average, six and a half yards per play against teams that allow just 5.6. Meanwhile, the Seattle defense um, has definitely struggled at times this year. 5.3 allowed, but their opponents have averaged just 5.1. San Francisco 6.5. This is a huge step up in class for a suspect Seattle defense. But the Seahawks do move the ball well. In fact, when factoring in opponents play, they average almost 7 yards per pass, and they've been running the ball extremely well, 5 yards per carry. Overall, Seattle averages 6.2 yards per play this season against teams that allow just 5.5. And while the Niners are usually considered one of the better defensive teams in the NFL, that has yet to show so far this season, as they're giving up almost 6 yards per play against teams that average 5.3. And their pass defense has been suspect, giving up almost 7 yards per pass against some weak passing opponents that average just 6 yards per pass. So San Francisco's played some mediocre offensive teams and still struggled this season. Seattle has also struggled, but they've moved the ball well. Both teams are capable of moving. I think both offenses hold the edge. So let's not overthink it. Let's play over the total here. Over 47.5 between the Niners and Seahawks. Thursday night football, 8.15 Eastern on Prime. Hey, comment below. How are you attacking this game? Side, total, player props. Love the player props. I mean, a lot of you have been dropping free player props and been doing really well. Include some analysis if you have time. Let's learn and earn and win together. I do read all the comments and I reply back. Love the support here on Wager Talk TV. Hey, be sure to click that thumbs up like button. Boom, you did it. Thank you. Always appreciate it. And when you subscribe, make sure you click that bell as well. So you get these free play videos throughout the week. I did the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night college football games. Doing your NFL primetime game here for Thursday night. 3-0 so far the last three weeks on these free Thursday night NFL plays on the videos. Let's try to keep it going. And once again, if you're finding it useful, thumbs up, like. But make sure you click that bell when you subscribe so you never miss out on the free content and videos when they're posted. Including my college football top 25 video on Friday and my NFL fade the public video this weekend on Saturday. Of course, if you want to win consistently, you don't want to just be playing the free play opinions and TV games. You want to be playing my official best bets, my client best bets at wagertalk.com. And boy, are they doing well. In fact, it's not a surprise. I entered this season ranked number one overall the last two seasons in college pro football, ATS Profit and Units 1. Finished the regular baseball season this year on a 31-13 and 13 run. And heading to the last week, and we're number one in the regular season college and pro football profit this year at Wager Talk. And overall, a 4-2 and two winning weekend last weekend in baseball and football. But we are very close to a 6-0 sweep. In fact, the only two losses I had last weekend were on the final play of the Bills and Steelers game. That's how close we were 
to 6 and 0. So you know it's going good when you're upset with a 4 and 2 weekend. And by the way, that 31 and 13 finish to the baseball regular season included three extra inning losses. Otherwise, we would have been 34 and 10. So even the near miss is not going your way and we still have a great run going. That's how solid the handicapping has been, and that's also a reason I preach the importance of taking a consistent long-term investment approach. Set it and forget it. 5 minutes a day to get the plays, put them in and start winning long term. Now, I've been making some special offers for you, and we do have another one this week. You buy one month, you can add a second month for just $99, all sports, all inclusive. That works out to just about $6, $6.5 a day, about 2 to $3 a play. Once again, no promo code needed. It's a 60-day all sports special right now at wagertalk.com. That's going to get you the rest of baseball through the World Series. It's going to get you another couple months of college and pro football, and it's also going to get you a good amount of the NBA and college basketball start. Don't forget, NBA starts in two weeks. And oh, by the way, nobody's won more units of profit in the NBA in the history of wagertalk.com than I have, including number one the last three years combined in NBA profit. Once again, check out the 60-day All Sports All Access special. No promo code needed. But if you're really serious about winning consistently, getting that cost of investment down, the one-year All Access package is still available with an instant $800 discount when you use promo code SM365. Made this offer the last few weeks. I know many of you have gotten on board, but a few of you have sat back on the sidelines for some reason and continue to watch winter after winter pass you by. Right now, one year, instant $800 discount with promo code SM365. That works out to just over $3 a day, just about a dollar per play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. It's quite simple. If I'm using the game, my clients get it as well. I'm extremely selective, and it is paid off with tremendous profit, and this is my 29th season as a full-time professional sports handicapper. Hey, follow along. You don't have to memorize the promo codes, by the way. The special offers promo codes are posted on my homepage every day, right below the best bets, right below the daily free play. That's right. I post a free play each and every day with analysis. You'll also see those promos and special offers. Go check it out right now. Figure out which one works best for you and get on board a long-term winning investment approach. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media on X, Instagram, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.